Hey, first of all, whoa, six weapons and two robots, way to go! Hello, my name is Xero, and I'm joined by Thunder Reiki. Recently, we went through a bunch of letters sent to us by War Robots players, like real paper letters. Some authors sent us uh, their robot concepts and asked to give some honest feedback. So, shall we do this? Let's do this! This one was sent to us by Melinda, the mother of War Robots player Caesar. Thank you for this concept, with some work that could definitely turn into a game item. As for the mechanics, a 1000 meters is a sniper range. It's very wise of Caesar to only make heavy version of Stinger. Heavy slot is the most popular among snipers. The concept doesn't specify, but judging by its looks, it's similar to laser arms like Prism and Flux. For weapons like those, it's important to specify how long it can maintain fire. There is no info on that in concept, but uh, I would suggest to make it lower. This way, Stinger can be effective against uh, agile robots and make great use of corrosion effects. Thank you for your letter, Elric. We often take inspiration from mythology and modern tech, but Middle Ages don't surface in our references as much. Still, we have some medieval-inspired arms, like uh, trebuchet, ballista and arbalest. That pack was released more than five years ago. Feel old yet? Now, looking back at those designs, I realize we could go further and make real futuristic energy crossbow. You know, Elric, we soon will have uh, tier 4 weapons continuing the legacy of Tarans. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a new version of Trebuchet, looking more like your drawings. Hey, first of all, whoa, six weapons and two robots, way to go! Especially, great that you have visual representation for every one of those. Weapons striking through all shields, that sounds powerful and quite interesting. They reach up to 350 meters, which means they can be countered by speed. Just run away or use lockdown. As for possible improvements, I suggest raising the weapon's range to 500 meters and balance it by removing ability to pierce physical shields. This way, sound triad could be effective in more occasions and still have some counterplay. Now, here we have medium variant of Viper. First of all, we consider Wasp a medium Viper. They somewhat differ in mechanics, but they fill a similar role with their corrosion effect by passing defense points. Uh, but with concepts like those, we think more and more about adding other medium companions to Viper. Dragonfly robot that turns into self-aiming meter and weapons that give you protection while you reloading. Both are very simple yet effective concepts. I could give some critique, but uh, they are great even without that. We could definitely try this concept in the future. This concept, Spirit, called be nigh invincible. Three shield types along with stealth, it is a very powerful set of defenses. You should balance that either with low base durability, reduce damage potential or uh, some very clear counterplay. Shield breaker weapons you suggest before could go very well against these robots. I like the idea of Aegis activating after its unsile is destroyed though. It's a neat design trick, as it clearly indicates how much defense the robots has left. Spirit turned from blue to yellow, ok, half more left. The first picture made me think it's a Boston Dynamics robot, but the next one made it clear. Dragonfly robot, the second one in the list. Sounds interesting. We also usually begin with some fun real-world references to build from. Uh, I think a bit more about this robot's ability, though. The author suggests a graceful, fragile robot, which runs into the enemy! Imagine this delicate dragonfly ramming luchador, for instance. Uh, to make it work, either the robot should be more massive, or the ability should be more about uh, striking from a distance or being elusive. In any case. Good concept, but needs more work to become game ready. Malware is especially cool. I like the slots on robots' limbs, and it generally looks sick. I imagine it's your favorite too, since it is the only one color at one. I would only give malware more than 10,000 durability. 
Despite strong weapon slot, it's too little to survive any real fight. For Corblox and Thunderbird, I would also suggest to reconsider the durability numbers. But these are great concepts too. As for 5 slots on a robot, we like the idea and even get back to it sometimes. To make it happen, however, we need to redesign the user interface and some other mechanics to make things work properly. Oh, while I'm here, props to the creator of the LEGO and Plastisin robots. We love looking at your builds, so please keep them going. Thank you. That's all for today. If you want to see more concept reviews, press like and leave a comment. And feel free to share your concepts on Reddit, Discord and whatnot.